The uh, U.S. Air Force Thunderbirds have conducted flyovers to honor those on the front line of this pandemic. Two weeks ago, you might remember, they flew over our region in spectacular formation. Well, one of the newest members of the team is a Howard University graduate, and she is making history. Un is here now with her story, a great story, Un. Aaron, good morning, and Jimmy, good morning to you as well. You know, it's so rewarding in our profession when we meet someone who leaves a lasting impression, and Captain Rima Shea Nelson is an Air Force officer who is a leader in her field and just an inspiration to women, girls, and anyone who aspires to achieve greatness. When the U.S. Air Force Thunderbirds roared over the skies of Baltimore, Washington, and Atlanta to salute the area's essential workers, a trailblazing officer flew in formation. So I know there is a small percentage of African-American officers, uh, spe specifically female officers in the Air Force. Uh, so to be in a position that is visible, to show little girls that this is attainable, to let them know that they can do anything that they can put their mind to, uh, is an absolute honor. Captain Rima Shea Nelson is the first African-American woman to be selected to this elite team as public affairs officer. It was not an easy flight to the top. Even when people tell you no uh, to your face because who you are, but your work shows where you should be, I think if you continue to work hard and to go after what it is you want, you will achieve your dreams. This is Captain Nelson's first season with the legendary demonstration squadron. With shows on hold for now, the Thunderbirds have honored the heroes on the front line of the pandemic with flyovers around the country. Where people can look up and have some type of hope during this time and knowing that we will get through this. The Thunderbirds are with them. Captain Nelson was born in Atlanta and raised in Douglasville, Georgia. Her parents, a source of inspiration, had the chance to watch a flyover from their home. My parents, who definitely come from a low-income family, who have did not go to college, they worked extremely hard to give me those opportunities. And I wake up every morning knowing that uh, if I work hard, I continue to make them proud. Captain Nelson has spent eight years serving in the Air Force, mostly overseas. But she says the best decision she ever made was attending Howard University. To be around people who look like me and help, I would say, instill a self-confidence into who I am and be able to walk into the world knowing who I am, where I come from, where my people come from, and where we can go uh, was invaluable. The values she carries with her in service are steeped in hard work, the drive to be the best she can be and to make a difference in the world. We have one life to live, and so I want to do that by giving back, by showing other people what's possible, and to just achieve as much as I can while I have the opportunity to do so. I mean, the sky's the limit, right? Captain Nelson says when people give thanks, they should not only remember the health care workers who are heroes, but also the grocery store workers, food service, fast food, and sanitation workers as well who have to go to work every single day. She knows mm -hmm. that she not only represents her fellow airmen, but women, women of color and little yeah. girls who have big dreams. What a role model and just a great ambassador for the Air Force. Erin and Jimmy. She really is. Wow. Yeah. What a great story. On Thank you.